Okay, YouTube, I want to try to continue to explain what the beast is. The beast reigns, or the Babylon reigns over the beast, or rules over the beast, so God wants us to come out of Babylon. In other words, stop being the beast. Uh, don't worship the image of the beast. So what is the beast and what is his image? So this is interesting here. Um, a quote from Edward Mandel House, who was an advisor to Woodrow Wilson, of course, uh, this advisor was the actual ruler of the country back then because the rich rule the poor and the borrowers servant to the lender. So Americans were borrowers. The bank was their master. They had, that's what they were a slave to. So the representative Edward Mandel House um, said something to Woodrow Wilson in 1913 around the passage of the Federal Reserve Act, which is the curse in Deuteronomy 28:43, Habakkuk 1, 5 through 6, the curse to the nations, and also Isaiah 24, 1 through 5. Uh, so Edward Mandel House said this to Woodrow Wilson. He said, Very soon every American will be required to register their biological property, that's their children, through the birth certificate. So that's what Israel did. Um, and if you understand the story of the goldsmith, which is Babylon, they, were, they create fake money, the images of Babylon. Um, if you read... Uh, Ezekiel 23:37. it says they with their idols they committed adultery and they threw their children into the fire to devour them and which is backed up by Habakkuk 2:13, which says the labors of the people are for the fire and they weary themselves for vanity so it has to do with labor and by registering the biological property, we throw them into the fire. In other words, we're pledging them as collateral for the debt. So I said, in a, um, every American will be required to register the biological property in a national system designed to keep track of the people and that will operate under the ancient system of pledging. Uh, by such methodology, we can compel the people to submit to our agenda, which will affect our security as a chargeback for our fiat paper currency. Now, I don't understand exactly what chargeback means and, and affect our security, but what I'm guessing is that it gives fake money value. It gives value to fake money. In other words, they're worshiping the images and by worshiping them, the images, it gives them power. So, um, and they will be our chattel. So that's what we are. We're, we're slaves. And I'll explain a little more about uh, the slave part of it. And we will hold the security interest over them forever by operation of the law merchant under the scheme of secure transit. Transactions. Americans will be unknowingly and unwittingly delivering the bills of lading to us, will be rendered bankrupt and insolvent forever to remain economic slaves through taxation. So, through the birth certificate, then you get a social security card, then you get a license, and you need the birth certificate, and it's all contracts. And it's through these contracts that you are now um, agreeing and voluntarily giving up your rights and trading them for privileges and allowing yourself to be under the power uh, by consenting your consent to give them power to force these laws over you. And it says, uh, secured by their pledges, they will be stripped of their rights and given a commercial value designed to make us profit and they will be none the wiser for not one man in a million could ever figure out our plans and if by accident one or two should figure it out, we have in our arsenal plausible uh, deniability. 
After all, this is the only logical way to fund government by floating liens and debt to the registrants in the form of benefits and privileges. This will inevitably reap to us large profits beyond our wildest expectations and leave every American a contributed contributor to this fraud which we will call social insurance or social security. Without realizing it, every American will insure us for any loss we may incur and in this manner every American will unknowingly be our servant however begrudgingly the people will become helpless and without any hope for their redemption and will we will employ the high office of the president of our dummy corporation to foment this plot against America dummy corporation United States title 20 uh, United States code title 28 Section 3002, paragraph 15A, defines the United States as a federal corporation. So their business, they need our consent because you don't have to do business with any corporation. So you don't have to consent. And that is the trick. So it's the borrower is a servant to the lender. So, so, um, so at our birth what happened was there was an entity created called a corporation it was called a legal fiction it is the capital letter name on your birth certificate and then it is tra it is transferred to the social security card to the driver's license to the marriage license auto registration all of these are contracts where you are doing business this this name is the image of the beast. The beast are borrowers. A beast cannot reason. They don't have a mind. They do what everybody else does. So they just, they just fill out the birth certificate, not even realizing that there's no law that says you have to fill it out. It says a certificate must be filed, but it doesn't say you have to fill it out. And this is how easily borrowers uh, are tricked into the system. They're a beast. They just do what everybody else does. They're like cattle. They're like sheep. Uh, so this is the characteristic of the beast. So, um, so what this created, this birth certificate, it created a person, a legal person. Bouvier's Law Dictionary um, defines a person defines person it says person is the word applied to men women and children now if you look at that you would say that anybody could be a person but if you're speaking in legalese which is the language of commerce designed to trick you then you will see that the word applied in the black's law dictionary means to make a formal formal request or motion see that's how tricky this is this is very deceptive. The bankers are very deceptive. So a person is a word applied to men, women, and children. And it says, in law, man and person is not exactly synonymous terms. So what happened was your birth certificate created a person. The person in uh, Webster's Dictionary means uh, an actor in a play so that's what that person is that capital letter name is a person it's a corporation it's a legal fiction uh, you use that when you when you are in a play this whole country is is in a play where everything is fake um, and whenever you sign your name to the capital letters you are giving life to this entity, to this person. The law, if you look at the law, it only uh, pertains to person. It does not pertain to man. A person is a man who signs a contract. Then they become a corporation. They become a person. They become a legal fiction. They have a mask. They're in a play. So, this driver's license, 
this uh, social security card has a legal fiction. It's called the image. It's an image of the beast. The beast are people who borrow, they're slaves, they're debtors, and they don't trust God. You know, basically, if you read the Old Testament talking about necromancy, it's talking about people who bring dead things to life. So basically, this is witchcraft. Whenever you bring something that's dead to life, it's called witchcraft. So uh, actually, you're involved in witchcraft when you use this person, this entity, this corporation that was created at your birth. Um, so this is the image, the image of the beast, and you cause it to speak whenever you give it life. You're, you're, uh, you're partaking in necromancy, necromancy, whatever that word is. So America has become like all the nations around her were cursed. Uh, you know, the Bible says God made man upright, but they followed after many inventions, Ecclesiastes 7.29. So that's what America is involved in. And, and as long as you're contracting with this capital letter name, uh, Babylon is reigning over you and God says to come out. Come out of her, my people. In other words, stop being a beast. Stop allowing the bank to rule over you. Remember when God rescued the children of Israel out of Egypt? They were slaves to, to Egypt. So that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to go come out and go into the desert because God is our provider, not the bank, not, not the government. You know, you get privileges and benefits through this capital letter name, but, but uh, if you ever get any benefits, it's coming out of somebody's pocket. And I tell you, it's coming out big time. And, it's, and the people are really paying. The labors of the people are for the fire. So come out of Babylon and stop being a beast.